right, Dan, what do you have? And where is it from? Uh, we can't tell where this is coming from, but this person says, I have the Holy Ghost, the man I married. Don't, but we were going to an apostolic church. You didn't hear about marrying unequal, being unequally yoked to Pastor Jennings. I uh, spoke about this. Uh, she said, I repent, or she said, I repented. Do God honor my marriage? Am I forgiven? So what's the question? I have the Holy Ghost, the man I married don't, but we're going to an apostolic church. The question really is, does God honor a marriage? Because now she's probably married to this person. All right. Well, if you are already married, one is a believer and one is not. Right. Give me the seventh chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians. Corinthians. And I say to the unbeliever, if you wish to do well there, don't depart. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7. And we'll start reading at verse 12. Follow me. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord. All right. If any brother, if any brother hath a wife that believeth not. Have a not, wife that's not a believer. Now hold it. The moment it says, if any brother, that means someone that's in the church, right. in the body, mm -hmm. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and have the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. What happened? If any brother has a wife that believes And not, yet he has a wife that's an unbeliever, not saved, don't right. have the new birth, mm -hmm. not in the church, mm -hmm. but yet they already married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she be pleased to dwell with him. What? Let him not put her away. You can't get rid of her because she's not saved. Right. And she can't get rid of him because she's not saved. And the woman which hath an husband. And the woman that, notice they got both of them. Right. Or did God have put the man in prison and put the woman in prison, turned the key and left you there until one of you fall out dead? That's right. Eh? And the woman which hath an husband. Woman that have a husband. That believeth not. That don't believe. And if he be pleased to Think dwell. Think of it. Yeah. Notice the language. Right. If he be pleased. If he be pleased. To do what? To dwell with her. If he want, listen, he may not believe in God at all. Right. Or rather, he believe in God and she may be an atheist. That's right. But because she's an atheist, he can't say, well, I want to get a saved one. Right. Mm -hmm. So he trade that Volkswagen in and get a Volvo. That's right. He can't do that. No. He can't do that at all. No, no. Then the Bible's dealing with Mary, one in the body, and one that's not in the body. Why is the Bible dealing with this? Because many of you held deserving bishops in Pentecostal and in so-called apostolic or apostolic in other religions are teaching the people that if both of you were sinners when you got married and then one of you got saved, the one now that's a Christian can get rid of the one that's a non-Christian. Right. That's a lie that the devil has been telling through your pastor. That's right. And uh -huh. your pastor's lying to you. That's right. And this stuff is being preached all over. Mm -hmm. But thank God the word of God is here. That's it. To put everything in check. And put everything back in order. That's right. You know the Apostle Paul said, I set all things in order when I come. That's right. What did he say? And the woman which hath an husband. The woman that got a husband. That believeth not. And the husband is not a believer. All right, woman. You may be born of the water and of the spirit. You're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Know there's one God. And your husband is of the devil. A pure premium 93% octane devil. That's right. High grade devil. That's right. <laughs> huh? And he may not believe in God at all. at all. Listen at this. And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not. Woman that have a husband that's an unbeliever. And if, if he be pleased to dwell if, with her. If, if he want to stay there. Let her not leave him. Wait a minute. He's an unbeliever and you're a believer. Right. And if he want to stay there and yet he's still an unbeliever. Let he, her... You can't get rid of him because he's an unbeliever. That's right. If he choose to stay there and he's uh, an unbeliever, mm -hmm. then let the unbeliever stay there. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the woman... notice how this contradict bishop. Oh, yeah. This contradict the apostolics and the Pentecostals. Mm -hmm. Listen. And the woman which has a husband. That now we got the not... woman. Mm -hmm. 
If she got a husband, that's an unbeliever. And if he be pleased to dwell with her. If he don't want to run and leave out because of her belief, then what? Let her not leave him. All right. So any preacher that give you counsel yeah. to do otherwise, mm -hmm. you're being counseled by the servant of Satan. That's right. All right. 